tmz.com. The Twitter posse is at it again, this time trying to cancel Seth Rogen for daring to call out a YouTuber who called Seth's hometown a crime-riddled third world asshole of a city. Seth saw a post from Casey Neistat, who groused that his car had been burglarized and then added some choice comments about the City of Angels. He said his seven-year-old daughter's birthday party decorations were taken and the burglar left bloody handprints on the car. Rogan responded, Dude, I've lived here for over 20 years. You're nuts haha. It's lovely here. Don't leave anything valuable in it. It's called living in a big city. Neistat fired back, saying he felt violated and wanted to know if Hess allowed to be mad. Seth's response, you can be made but I guess I don't personally view my car as an extension of myself and I've never really felt violated any of the 15 or so times my car was broken into, adding, once a guy accidentally left a cool knife in my car so if it keeps happening you might get a little treat. That sent some cancelers into orbit, slamming Seth for acting privileged. True, not everyone can blow off a car burglary, but Seth was responding to someone who is also a multi-millionaire. Rogan called Neistat nuts before telling him it's lovely and live in LA, despite rising crime rates and a series of recent luxury store lootings across the area. Truth be told, LA is getting hammered by crime, including a massive number of burglaries, 10,000 plus in 2021, with car burglaries up 10%. And, the new phenomenon, looting luxury stories in broad daylight, has also become a big problem in LA as well as other cities. The day before Thanksgiving, a looting gang hit a Nordstrom's in LA.